How's it going guys, Joe's here back with another standard deck tech. Today we have Golgari mid-range. I've changed the deck list up a little bit and added some new cards, taken some cards out. I, I, I love Golgari. I think black is still one of the strongest you know, colours in Magic right now. It's just so good in standard, right? You have so many powerful cards with Shield Rid. And I think like the Golgari combo is very, very strong. Of course you've got Esper mid-range and you can do Rakdos and stuff like that. So let's go through the deck list. We've got three copies of Cut Down, Great Chief Removal Spell to deal with all my opponent's creatures. Like, creatures two copies of dress in the main we've got some more on the sideboard good against control decks domain and things like we've got one bit of triumph good because it deals with creatures and planeswalkers which is quite nice three broncos card advantage really good card advantage good to drop um have loads of different ways to saddle it as well three go for the throat best removal spell in the format then we've got four moss with dread knight one of the reasons why i want to play golgari good card advantage three two trample is nice and it can also uh saddle up the bronco which is always good then one pillage the bog good one of advantage spell then we've got three preacher get in there deal damage difficult to attack into difficult to block uh card advantage makes tokens kind of does it all really then we've got one lily of the veil in the main great you know more nice little one of then we got the sentinel we got the three copies of the sentinel the name to see again another reason why i play green three four vigilance is pretty decent and then they can give me some really good card advantage with all the map tokens three glissa main reason why to play golgari so tough to attack into really difficult to block advantage it does it all it is a really really strong creature and then four hostile investigators this card is growing on me so much it is very very good a four mana four three is good stats you get to make your opponent discard a card uh you know i get to have a clue it's just really good not really good against like boros convoke and stuff like that but it's very very good in the grindier matchups which standard is at the moment then three children right just so strong and then one copy of the bad god which is a nice big flying threat then the lands we've got obviously a bunch of dual lands basics we've got a couple of one of each of the channel lands and then we do have restless coyage to uh, rumble in deal some damage in the sideboard we got the two copies of duress um to add to the two in the main then we got two terra sunder there's a lot of artifact decks going around leyline binding stuff like that you can always kick it remove planeswalkers or creatures which is always good um then we got the full four copies of Path of Peril against Convoke. That's pretty much the main matchup. Then we've got the Tranquil Frillback, three copies, good against Team Analyst, also very good against Artifact Enchantment decks. If you want to deal with stuff like Leyline Bindings and the like. And if you're against Aggro decks, you know, just playing this game for life and a 3 3 blocker is pretty good. Two more copies of Lily, variety of matchups, very, very strong. Then we have Gix's Command, good little board sweeper, and on top of that, get to. Uh, and bring back stuff from the graveyard and then one nissa uh one copy of the big nissa this is really really good against stuff like domain control uh, and even grindier matchups you can just run away with the game it's just so so powerful if you do want to give this deck a try guys the deck list will be in the description below we're gonna play a best of three standard game let's see how we get on all right probably going first open hand uh ooh, i'm gonna hmm i'm gonna keep in the hopes i draw a land at least a green land double duress could be pretty good cut down is good for any like creature base Matchups. I want to be hitting land, of course, especially green. Oh, perfect. Then that's fine. I'm I'm happy with that. All right, let's see what I'm dealing with. Blue white control. Well, we're gonna get rid of the no more lies. Interesting. Well, at least I got a double duress hand. Uh. Yeah, I'll just draw a card. Get some card advantage going. I think the hostile investigators could be good in this matchup. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, they have got a good hand, though. Sure. Yeah, these are kind of... These are dead. 100%. Might as well play this guy. They can three steps ahead if they really wanted to. Probably not. Oh. To be fair, if they go to like exile it, I'm just gonna cut down it. Yeah. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Uh far off the duress. See whether my opponent will counter it or not. Probably. And I'll swing in. I'm not playing anything else. I'm just swinging in. They got the sum full. 
Not worth it. Cool. Okay, now I've got another Glissa. Uh, bring in. They might have a Wandering Emperor. Fine, I can always cut down them. Okay, we'll play a Glissa. Pass. Uh, if they play Sunfall here, I'll cut down my guy. Absolutely. I'll get that card advantage running and the cutdown's like a dead draw. Yes, I would like to cut down my own guy. Oh. Children. Children's a good one. For a card. Bronco's a good one as well. Get the old Bronco down. Alright, we'll keep keep the card draw flowing. They're gonna deal with my Bronco. Leave my is it a horse? Yeah, it is, yeah. Leave my horse alone. Good draw. Uh go swing in. I don't really care about anything else, I just want the card advantage. Yeah, boy. Cool. Let. Reland. Okay. Counter if you want. Makes no difference to me. Get lost. Okay. Play the Glissa. Pass. Okay, well, I got a like, good hand here. Very good. Okay. Wandering Emperor? No. No Wandering Emperor. As of yet. Yeah, you can block. That's fine. I'll just play the Dread Knight. Yeah. Draw a card. Oh, uh, play land. Do on this. In it. Uh, do it on the Glissa. Get on top. Alright. Probably could fill the room me if they really want to destroy evil. Okay, whatever. Well, depleting them with with cards. Pretty sweet. Wing in for four. A lot of damage. It didn't show they had a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They might have a three steps ahead. Okay, they don't. That's good. Temporary lockdown. Yeah, that's kind of kind of dead in this matchup. To be fair. Although it's good against the Dread Knight. I'm surprised he hasn't played against the Mosswood Dread Knight. I've got Lethal. But they got Field of Ruin. Cool. Oh. Okay. Draw card. Reland. Oh, that's okay. Uh, okay, that's not great. Combat. We could have a. Uh, Wandering Emperor. They still haven't. I still think the Wandering Emperor is coming down. Okay, see the Empire. Well, oh. we get another clue. Pretty good. I'll play the shield I got in my hand. I've got two. I might as well play it. They're on six. Get old Shelly down. Uh, draw. Creature. Okay. Give to you. Fill of my land. Yeah. Alright, over to your opponent. You got one one draw step. Sunfall. 
Farewell. Oh well. Fair play. I'm gonna make you top deck again. To populate. Interesting. Oh, got there. Alright. Okay. Going into game two. So, against control. Definitely bringing Dress. Definitely bringing Lily. Um, they do have big board sweepers. They're definitely bringing in Nissa. I think that's kind of it. Uh, definitely bring out the cut down. Kind of bad. Um, probably leave one go for the throat. One bit of triumph. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, good hand. Good hands. Uh, get some color varnish rolling. I think the Dread Knight's good in this matchup, though. Just keep the card. Uh, card draw flowing. I think is key. Okay. Well, that went straight through, so they don't have a counter spell. They might do now, though. Um. We just play the Dread Knight. Could have resolved Lily. Might have had her three steps ahead. There's Dread Knight in there. I'll probably resolve. Probably go for resolving Lily. Us maybe. Just in case they're holding it. Oh, okay, well. That was a good draw. Probably the probably the best draw I could have gone. If they've got a Wandering Emperor, I'm snatching that straight out of their hand. Maybe you kind of feel like you want to counter it. Pretty rough. Not looking good here. Alright. Ooh, okay, so they got a really good hand. Um Memory Deluge, Wandering Emperor, farewell. We'll just take the Wandering Emperor. Speed double. Never even seen this card before. So the spell can't be copied. Alright, choose one. If an opponent has eight or more cards in your in their graveyard, you may choose. Okay, well, get rid of the Wandering Emperor. Um Play Lily. Pick up. Get rid of the land. Sure. Swing for three. Make a memory deluge, of course. Yeah, that's fine. But I wanted to take that Wandering Emperor. I mean, they can always have another one, but Lily's going to be a pain for them. Which is going to be pretty good. Good. Obviously, memory deluge is like insane. Um, Hopefully, I draw like. I don't know, something else. I mean, I do have the Investigator, which is going to be good. Along with Lily. I mean, they both can't do it at the same turn, but... I keep drawing land. I mean, that's actually not too bad for me. Pick up. Draw land. Probably would get rid of the sea double, right? Probably not. Go with Preacher. The reason why I'm with Preacher is because you might counter this. Yep. Alright, well. They're going to get a lot of card advantage. There's the Sunfall. More land. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Okay, well. Sure. Uh, land. Pick up. Or she doesn't trigger a second time, but... At least it depletes stuff out of their hand. They're going to go for the C double. Create a copy as a copy type creature. I'll be like, yeah, sure. 
I guess it's good though, you get a copy of Shield Red. I guess that's what it's for. I don't really know. Okay, they did get the Field of Ruin as well. Kind of a, kind of a bummer. And they've also found the Seventh Land for the Deluge next turn. But uh, they kind of have to deal with the Lily because I will ult. Yeah. Okay. Do I ult? Draw a card first. Interesting. If I ult Lily, what do I do? What split do I do? Give them this land, this land, this. So one, two, so you can go one, two, three, and this, or one, two, three, four. Okay. Sure. I mean, at least the investigator triggers. <laughs> yeah. So, um, pile one, pile one, pile two, pile two, pile two. Pile two. Okay. Yep. Oh, ho, ho. Ultimate in Lily taking it down. Took it down. Blue Eye Control. One of the best decks in the format right now. Managed to take it down. I mean, the hostile investigator really, really showed power. Honestly, it was just dominated. You know, it, you look at game one. Even game two, Lily did incredibly well as well. It's just tough for them to deal with because I'm getting so much card advantage from the Dread Knights. And you've got this repairing threat constantly going with the power duress as well. These decks can keep up with the control decks because of the card advantage that you're getting from the Investigator. Things you're getting from Glissa, you're getting it from the Dread Knight, you're getting it from the Bronco. So you're constantly getting card advantage, which is very, very strong. But if you do want to give this deck a try, guys, the deck is in the description below. If you made this far into the video and you've enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe for more magic content. But that's from me, guys, in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.